What is up guys, have you ever wondered what the best beginner budget friendly camera is for both photo and video to capture the best quality pictures but still have the best quality videos and maybe even leave room for vlogs so you need that flip out screen. Well in today's video I'm going to be actually giving you the top 5 best budget friendly beginner cameras. I'm telling you all of these cameras are somewhere between $400 as low as that and the most expensive is like $900 and that's the most expensive. So let's get into today's video starting with the cheapest and best budget friendly camera that still packs a punch and delivers the best quality for the best price. So the Canon R100 that comes in at a price of 429 US dollars for just the body and the body with a kit lens comes in at 500 dollars on the dot 499 isn't that such a good price. It features a manual mode with a 24.1 megapixel APS-C size sensor digic 8 image processing which means that you'll get fast and reliable autofocus you actually get quite a quick 6.5 frames per second photos if you're actually taking something that's quite fast moving I wouldn't recommend it for sports sports you'd need more frame rate but if you're not gonna take sports photography then yeah 6.5 is plenty fast you can use this for dancing you know babies running around kids running around it takes six frames six photos per second that's how quick it is this is quick enough for most of your everyday stuff and at this price this is actually such a good value for money I would I will literally admit it's such good value for money at this price to be getting 6.5 frames a second at this price. It's obviously a Canon so it has Canon's colors. Canon is well known for their colors and the Canon R100 does not disappoint. The colors look amazing straight out of the camera. As you can see these pictures that were taken on the Canon R100 they look absolutely amazing and you don't even need to edit them much. Just straight out of the camera they already look pretty usable. So in terms of video capability the Canon R100 features 4k but only up to 20 24 frames a second now 4k is brilliant it is very detailed but at 24 frames a second ah, you can't do any slow motion stuff or anything like that but for most every day just filming and all that then yeah it's fine it also comes unfortunate that the 4k comes with a crop so that's the only downside the Canon R100 comes with the electronic viewfinder and it connects with the Canon camera connect app to your phone so as you're shooting you can actually preview the images on your phone and you can actually use your phone as like a monitor to see what the camera is taking although it's a little bit slow and laggy the app it's fine because you you can still just see the photos from the camera so it's just a nice to have type thing and you can also download the photos from your camera and send them directly over to your phone with the Canon camera connect app the only cons to this is that there's no flip out screen yes this might hurt the vloggers out there and I'm one of those vloggers this is definitely a no-go camera for me the screen doesn't flip out but at that price point it has to have some sort of caviar to it and that's where they kind of had to cut corners on the flip out screen and it only shoots 4k at 24 frames a second yeah the Canon R100 overall is actually a pretty good camera because it has good photo specs it has good image capabilities and the video is not too bad overall the next beginner camera is the Nikon Z30 the body only price is 599 US dollars and then if you want the body with the kit lens it's 699 US dollars now this is a kick up from the camera before Four, but it actually offers a lot more manual mode 20.9 megapixel APS-C size sensor fast autofocus captures a whopping 11 frames a second that is absolutely crazy you can use that for sports photography or you can use that for quick moving action because it's going to capture 11 photo frames in one second it has brilliant colors now the Nikon Z30 has such amazing colors you don't even need to edit in fact with most of these cameras on this list you won't even need any editing experience because the photos already just look good out of the camera straight out of the camera so you hardly have to do anything to bring the most out of those photos they just automatically look good it has 4k at 30 frames per second so this is definitely a bump up from the last camera the Canon R100 but it's still not enough for slow motion and all that but 4k 30 fps is absolutely amazing you can do 1080p at 60 now the Nikon Z30 does have a flip out screen so it is worthy for all the vlogs vloggers out there so if you're a vlogger then yeah the Nikon Z30 is definitely a camera that you should consider now the Nikon Z30 actually connects to your phone via the Nikon app and you're able to monitor the pictures you're taking and send over the files from your camera straight to your phone without needing a computer without using the SD card and all that so it takes away all the stress and the hassle of having to have a computer with you all the time because you can send it wirelessly via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth onto your phone as well now the only cons to this is it's more expensive than the Canon 
R100 but it does offer more specs so to be fair it is a better camera and I do believe it's worth the money and the Nikon Z30 has no viewfinder imagine you can't even see your image from the viewfinder you have to rely on the screen so the photographers out there will suffer but it's still overall a good camera and it does have some amazing photo specifications but it seemed like they've focused more on video for this camera and if you really want just a solely photographer based camera then the Canon R100 is a better option now the next camera is the Canon R50 which is a step up from the Canon R100 so of course it's a little bit more expensive from the Canon R100 but it offers more specs and it actually covers up the downfalls that the Canon R100 had so the price is 599 for the body only and with the kit lens is 699 this offers manual mode 24.1 megapixel APS-C size sensor so you're able to capture plenty of detail in your photograph and you have a lot of dynamic range it has a digic 8 processor for quick autofocus and it can capture a whopping 12 frames a second this is the most amount of frames per second on any camera on this list so far and it offers amazing canon colors which you don't even need to do any editing to to bring out the best of it just captures such natural looking colors that just look good automatically it offers 4k at up to 30 frames per second which is very usable it has an electronic viewfinder yes nikon it has a fully articulating screen so for my vloggers out there this is actually the best recommendation i have for you so far flips out and then you can flip it like this you can flip it in every single way you want literally there's no issues there and it connects to your phone via the canon camera connect app so you're able to share files and communicate with your phone the cons are there are no cons except if you're really worried about the price that'd be a con but to be honest for the amount of specs you get 599 isn't too bad now the next camera on my list is a sony zve 10 so the body only cost is the same as the canon r50 at 599 dollars and then with the kit lens it's 699 dollars now this is a camera that put the vloggers first so it's mainly for video and then it will have a few photo specs but don't get this camera if you just specifically want it for taking photos so this camera features a three capsule internal mic yes so the vloggers will be able to get high quality audio without needing to upgrade so what you can buy is the the wind buster that you can put on top of the three capsule microphone you won't need to buy an external microphone because the three capsule microphone is an extremely high quality mic that's already built into the camera it has a 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor it has very fast autofocus for quick moving action vlogging and taking photos every now and again it captures 11 frames a second and it has the wonderful Sony colors Sony is also very good with their colors and it's known for capturing good colors all of these cameras are actually very good it offers 4k at up to 30 frames per second a fully articulating screen small and compact this camera is very small and that's what I like about it and the other part is that it offers up to 120 frames a second in 1080p so that's very quick you can do some very slow motion shots with that and get some really high quality it also connects with your phone the only cons I have with this camera is that it does not have a viewfinder so if you're a photographer then yeah this is definitely not your camera but to be honest for all the vloggers out there they don't even need that viewfinder so if you're a vlogger then you should definitely get the Sony camera because it comes with a microphone built in and it comes with a high quality image already so you don't have to do any editing and if you can do some editing you can actually boost the quality from just being an average camera to being up on the highest echelons of the best video cameras out there for the price because this is just an amazing price honestly I will link down below in the description the best prices that you can get for all of these cameras the next camera is the most expensive camera on this list is the Fujifilm X-T30 which has a body only price of a thousand dollars now that might be jaw dropping for some of you but guys who want the best video specs with the best photo specs and have the best of both worlds then yeah it's worth it to be honest so it has manual mode a 26 megapixel APS-C size sensor that's the most megapixels on any camera in this list so far it has fast autofocus when i say fast i mean quick guess how many photo frames it has it has 20 frames a second photo that is absolutely crazy it has amazing colors straight out of the camera you hardly need to edit any of these pictures at all it offers 4k up to 30 frames a second it has a flip down screen it's small and compact and it connects to your phone via the fujifilm app the only cons i would say is that the price it is quite hefty for a lot of people and the lens compatibility will be an issue because Fujifilm doesn't have a 
wide range of lenses at least not as wide as Canon or Sony lenses so if you buy that camera you're gonna be stuck in the Fujifilm lens market which is not too broad quite yet so that could be the only con but if you're just gonna use the same lens or if you're just gonna make minor upgrades then it shouldn't bother you that much so thanks guys for watching till the end of this video I hope you can find the camera that you need in your life and I hope that this video has helped you if this video did help you I hope that you can subscribe and like this video and maybe share it with a friend or family member that needs to hear this